Yo, this is Deagle Beagle. So we're gonna go over Brute Bonnet in Series 2. And there are different ways on how to use this, but I would normally use Booster Energy with it unless you also, unless you had Sun with it as well. So there are, di oh, I just thought of something. Bullet Seed with Loaded Dice. I'll have to add that one on later. I'll just add it on now before I forget. Loaded dice. So if you want to run Brute Bonnet without Sun, I would probably recommend Booster Energy. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless to use another item. Like Booster Energy is going to be the better item if you don't have Sun, unless you really need it with something else. So it just depends. But let's just. Let's just pretend you only have one Protosynthesis Pokemon for sake of simplicity. If that was the case, I'm just, we're just going to assume that for all of these cases. So, the Terror type, we'll go over a, a more defensive one soon. But just for the move, Spores should be on almost all the Brute Bonnets because that's a, just an extremely good move. Spore... And then you don't have to use two stab moves, but you might want to. You, you should have at least one probably stab attacking move. So there's Sucker Punch, there's Payback, there's Trailblaze, there's Seed Bomb, etc. Anyways, the last move, Rage Powder, is going to be probably the most common fourth move because it's good in general. But I would say Brute Bonnet doesn't have as good of defensive typing sometimes as Amoongus, like Amoongus, it not being weak to fighting and four times weak to bug and whatnot might make it have better defensive typing. But in some ways, Brew Bonnet would be better. It's just normally I'd say for Rage Powder, Amoongus is better. And this is still good though. Rage Powder is a really good move. So this is probably the most common way that you'll see it run. Probably with not even protect, just like like this. And people try to tear dark with the sucker punch to hit hard. Okay, the other ones you could try. Well, actually, first let's go over the t the typing chart. So let's just take um, dark for example, because it has less resistances and whatever than grass. It's more simple to think about. So if you go with dark, a dark move, what resists that? I can't see this. It's lying. Okay, fighting. Yeah, it's like, it's not poison. It's fighting that resists dark. And grass would hit that usually neutrally. And then what else resists dark? Dark and fairy. So normally seed bomb between seed bomb and sucker punch you would have a neutral move almost all the time unless they have some combination of typing that that makes it so they somehow resist both moves but chances are they won't but versus sucker punch they'll play games against you and and try to not use an attacking move or switch out or whatever so i don't know about sucker punch it is pretty good but i feel like People can counter it really easily, so you need other options. At least you have Spore and whatnot as other options. <clears throat> you could try one to beat Don Dozo or, or Pokemon that raise their stats in general. So you could clear smog them. I meant to go over um, this Pokemon's defensive typing. We went over its offensive typing, but defensively, what, what kills a Grass Tart Pokemon? What super affects it the most? So, not, no, let's go this way. Um, what super affects a dark Pokemon? I forgot how to read this. I think dark, oh, fighting. You have to go to this one, go down, go vertically down. So fighting, bug, fairy, fighting, bug, fairy, Fighting Bug Fairy. Yeah, those all super affect Brute Bonnet and it's four times weak to Bug. So 
that's a problem. And then what super affects grass? Fire, it is also weak to fire. It is also weak to ice and poison and flying and bug. Even though we already said bug. Yeah, this thing is weak to like, we'll just count it uh, separately. So for the ones that just super affect grass and not the dark typing. One, two, three, four, and then go to bug. Five, six, seven. I think it's weak to like seven types. That's the that's going to be the main problem with brute bonnet. So I think in reality, <laughs> you would probably want a defensive Terra, even though I'd say most people, at least at the start of the season, they're almost all going to use Terra Dark just for offense. But this thing is weak to so many things. It's just crazy how many things it's weak to. People just still will use it because they think, oh, it's a spore machine. It's like a Moongus. But... If you're just trying to spam Spore with it, it's probably worse than a Moongus because it has worse defensive typing. But if you're trying to use it as both a Spore Pokemon and offensive Pokemon, then it could be pretty good. But me me personally, I don't think I would use Terra Dark with it. That's putting too much into Sucker Punch when they could just easily counter it by switching, will o wisping you, whatever. Um, I would use a defensive Terra considering it's four times... It's weak to... Four times to bug and has seven weaknesses. So let's see what what would be the best defensive typing for it. Well, so weak to fighting, weak to to bug, weak to fairy. Steel would cover some of these. Okay, let's but not fighting, and then. What's the other one? Grass? Um, the So fire, steel would be weak to fire as well. So fire, ice, poison, steel would c counter a lot of these ones. But then it would still be weak to like fire and fighting. So, hmm, maybe another one. But steel, steel maybe would be one of the best terrorists with it. But... It's hard to say when it's weak to seven things using a terror type i mean that's gonna stop you from being weak from some of the things they were trying to hit you with but then you'll just still be weak probably like half of the time to something so the other terror you could probably use is it dark so if they're trying to hit you with a fighting move let's see about ghost Ghost wouldn't resist that much. It would resist fighting a lot. Bug, I think, does how much to Ghost? I believe Ghost resists Bug. So yeah, Ghost might be pretty good. Oh, and Ghost would make you immune to Fake Out. And then Fairy. Fairy? If you were Fairy. Now, nah, Fairy's more good if you, if they're trying to hit you with like a dragon move or something but it would be good versus fighting and fairy does um let me see fairy does resist bug you could possibly use fairy with it or steel i'd say or ghost so grass Yeah, you probably can't help out the grass weakness very much unless you want to be weak to fighting or bug or whatever. So, so probably just use something that counters that. So, so I'd recommend, it depends, if you use it in rain, I'd probably use Terra Steel, but you may not want to use it in rain. If you have booster energy, that's fine. But if you want to use it with protosynthesis, then you wouldn't use it in rain. So I would use Terra Flying. No, Terra Fairy Steel. What was the other one? Ghost? I would probably use Ghost with it. Maybe. If I wanted a defensive Terra. Because 
you're immune to fake out. You're only weak to what? Dark and ghost Pokemon are only weak to, I want to say dark, ghost, dark, dark and ghost. So that's pretty much it. And you can hit him with all these moves. Payback is an idea I thought of because it's rather slow. So you could even min the speed with it. Just have a more reliable payback, but I probably want to do that personally because you would want to hit him with like Spore or whatever, possibly faster, unless you're trying to make it slower than a Trick Room team. But I don't think it's even that. No, it's not that slow even. If it was below 49 speed, then I would consider it, but since it's not, I'd probably just leave it. And then. You could use Dark or some other type of Terra type on this one. Trail Blaze is an idea for getting a faster Spore and uh, Sucker Punch and whatnot. So you could outspeed their priority if you needed to. Synthesis, you may want to use a different move than that. You could even, you might actually want Protect on a lot of these sets, considering how it has like four, I mean, seven weaknesses. So, but Synthesis. Yeah, actually, Synthesis is probably a bad idea considering how it's weak to seven moves typings, but it would be decent maybe if they didn't happen to super affect you or you killed the Pokemon that super affected you with your ally and you could restore a lot of HP with Synthesis, but with them being able to change weather and what I, I probably want to use Synthesis personally. And the next one... Terra Blast. If you're using Terra Blast, though, that's an offensive move, and you would want something different from Ghost. Because Ghost isn't going to super affect much that's so trying to kill you. So I would probably use on this one. These are all like booster energy, except one's like loaded dice. You could use another item, by the way, besides booster energy, like Citrus or whatever. But I don't know about that. You would have to have Torkoal with it. Okay, Terra Blast, not dark. Probably fairy. Because that's going to super affect the fighting Pokemon that are trying to kill you. What else did we talk about? That super affects dark. Um, bug. No, it's not going to be that good versus bug. But not bad either. Fairy, you're neutral against. Steel, maybe. Steel would counter Fairy. And it would be resistant to poison and whatnot. But as far as hitting them back, I don't know about Steel. Would be good versus Ice types, though. I don't know. I'd probably use Fairy. Gives you good coverage, too, versus like Dragon Pokemon and whatnot. And then another one you could try is, no, not Seed Bomb. You would want to use with the Loaded Dice one, Bullet Seed, because, because Bullet Seed would hit four to five times in one turn. So you would hit with 100 or 125 power, and that would be pretty good. You might be able to break their Sash, especially versus like Canrock. It is weak to grass or fragile Pokemon in general. But the problem with that is a lot of Pokemon are resistant to Bullet Seed, like Meow Scarada. So you probably wouldn't kill that with Bullet Seed. But at least you could kill the other Sash Pokemon with it or just do more damage in general as a grass move. It would be like almost like a choice ban. But for the grass moves, but you might want to use that with Torkoal so you get the Protosynthesis boost. I would almost always use Booster Energy with it unless you have like Torkoal on your team or Sunny Day or something, Manual Sunny Day like from Sableye because you really need that to activate the Protosynthesis otherwise it's like you might as well just use Regenerator Amoongus probably. 
Even I mean, maybe not though. If you can use something different like bullet seed with power on it or sucker punch, but it doesn't. My point is, it doesn't have as much power if you don't have photosynthesis. And I think actually, eventually, people are going to stop running rage powder with it and probably run protect because it having seven weaknesses is a lot. So you might even want the defensive one on this one, but. I don't know if that's worth it or not. Okay, thanks for watching. I think that's it for this Pokemon.